How far would you go to keep the state from taking your children? One family found themselves on the run, accused essentially of kidnapping their own children mm -hmm. when a judge gave defects temporary custody. And tonight, the Reveal investigator Rebecca Lindstrom sits down with that family to discuss why they did it. This teenager says he will oh, never man. take a pass for granted. I can tell you love your family. Yes, sir. Yeah. Three years ago, court records say his mom got mixed up with drugs. His dad had a few too many beers and his parents started to fight about it. A 911 call to de-escalate the situation led to a knock on the door by DFAX. So here you thought you were calling for help. Mm -hmm. But it turned out to be the worst phone call ever. A year later, when DFAX didn't feel the parents were taking their treatment seriously, Judge Joseph Wyatt gave temporary custody of the Henderson's three children to the state. Fearing there was no way to fight the decision, they ran. If you love something like that so much, you'll do just about anything. The boy! It took several weeks for U.S. Marshals to find them in Louisiana. When they busted down the door in the middle of the night, Martha thought they were all going to die. There were literally lasers on every one of our heads. My 18-month-old daughter had a laser on her head. But it was that raid in the dark of night that ended up shining a light on how easy our child welfare system can misuse its power. The juvenile court has the authority to act in the best interest of the children. Based upon what, though? As long as the government says it's okay, then by God, it's okay. Yes, that's what the juvenile court has the authority to do, and your that remedy at that point... Your Judges point on the state to court of appeals seemed shocked that the parents did not have an attorney the day Judge Wyant ordered the children removed. She had quit just two business days before the status hearing. And the decision was made without swearing in any witnesses or presenting any evidence. When we look at our child welfare system, it's not just defects. Defects never has the power to take a child out of a home, period. The court has that power. I'm with my family back now, you know, thank the Lord for that. But, you know, I think it's sometimes, what if it didn't go this way? So where does a court case stand right now, Rebecca? The Court of Appeals did side with the parents and with the judge's order ruled null and void, there were no grounds for those criminal convictions and so those were set aside. But the parents did have to get treatment and finish their case plan before the children were returned home. Now you spoke with the older son and what is he saying about all of this? Yeah, it's interesting because you know, he feels more traumatized by the system itself than yeah. anything that his parents did. And that's that's a natural response for kids who come into contact with defects. It's the big challenge. How do we help children while not causing more harm? Yeah, those are some good questions there. Thanks, Rebecca.